that are invisible to biology at the Awesome. Yeah. Good afternoon, judges, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I didn't know that you can do something that's that very simple, so I put a lot of things inside here. So <laughs> addition, okay, basically, what is the tree diagram? Okay, it's a biological diagram. Okay, tree diagram. So, um, I think it's invisible to most of you here. Okay, it is uh, something that looks like either this form or this form. This is the ladder form. This is the nested form. It is not really a mind map of family tree of actual trees. There are very abstract differences between them, but sometimes they are mistaken to be the same. Okay, so some potential misconceptions, uh, students tend to read it from left to right, okay? Or they infer that uh, if you are nearby, that means you are closely related. If you are not so near, that means you are not so related. Or they count the number of nodes differently. Or they will say that it has a straight line, there's no change for these millions of years, it's always been the jellyfish it was. But actually, there are a lot of changes there. So these are all misconceptions. And um, researchers found that after they format it correctly, okay, this is the best form of format, the nested format that is most accurate, they still find very uh, abstract, um, correct interpretations to make them very low. So there's still a very huge issue with how students read these uh, diagrams. So our study, we actually have a primary study and a secondary study uh, comprising of different numbers of students. We uh, use the uh, questions and also we, in the end, the secondary study we actually provided uh, this part of the diagram to show students at this exactly what we're looking at. If humans and chimpanzees shared a common ancestors four to seven million years ago, what is the human ancestor like at Except five million years? Okay, so we used a different analysis to do that, and uh, we had a table like this, which is incredibly complex. Only these uh, boxes are the correct answers, and these are the frequency in percentage. Okay, all the rest are wrong answers, sorry. Um, but there's a lot of them that have uh, alternative uh, thinking. <coughs> they are thinking that somehow chimpanzee and human got married and they had a lot of times <laughs> and somehow uh, happened to have humans uh, right now. So these are the kinds of uh, misconceptions that we have covered and we actually distilled all this into uh, 10 kinds of thinking. Uh, of these 10 kinds of thinking, only the first kind is correct. Okay, the rest of them are all wrong, which uh, corresponds to this table. Okay, so sometimes they think that oh humans have passed, so unique we are unique species. We don't have any ancestors at all. Okay, um, or they feel that uh, we have changed from a uh, chimpanzee, gorilla, orangutan, or monkey to become humans, and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of uh, misconception, a lot of uh, thinkings that are different from what scientists and what science informs us, uh, and we cannot blame them because there's a very huge issues with even the terms like uh, last common ancestor. What's last? Is it previous? Is it uh, most recent, what does it actually mean? Common, what does it mean? Does it mean a common person? Or is it a common character? What is the common that we are talking about? So, we can't blame that. Okay, so these are our final co uh, conclusions. We find that there's a lot of issues there. Okay, we start from ground up, we find that it's very Thank you.